you got movies like Tom Cruise and Jack Reacher, you can't lose. You don't want to waste money on a bad movie, but there's a lot of good ones out there. You're gonna love this movie! Five bags of popcorn, definitely. On cinema, at the cinema. Airing all the time. From the lighter side as a comedy is Identity Theft. Uh, this is a very funny movie. I will give it four bags of popcorn because uh, I thought uh, that there were moments that bored, bored, uh, were boring. 21 and over, a comedy. It's very funny. I don't know that it's responsible to encourage a sort of uh, alcohol abuse, but you know, if you watch old Flintstones cartoons, they do things in that that you would never do in real life. But the laughs still keep coming, and uh, I had a great time. I think if you'd tacked the National Lampoon name onto this and called it National Lampoon's 21 and Over, it would have been a five-bagger. Uh, I'm gonna give it five bags anyway, though, because I think that the world does need a laugh. Carrie. It's just Carrie. Um, of course, it's a remake, and you know how much I love remakes, uh, because it's finally, you get a chance to uh, perfect. You, get, you had your first chance, and, and the original carry was great, but this one is even better than that. So four bags of popcorn. The Incredible Burt Wonderstone. It's a funny movie, but it's not strictly for laughs. It has a message too, so I do think he'll get the Oscar. Five bags of popcorn in each bag, inside each bag. When you open it up, you find an Oscar for Jim Carrey, because this is his all-time best performance. Escape from Planet Earth, not to be mistaken from uh, Escape from Planet Earth. Or from Planet, or Escape, Planet Escape of the from Apes. New York. No, Escape, Escape from, from New York. This movie thrilled and chilled me, and uh, I love this movie. It was fun. Sci-fi is my favorite kind of movie, but it also comedy and animated films are my favorite kind of movies. So this has all three wonderful combinations to make my film one of my films of the year, Escape from Planet Earth. I would say it could have been made just a little bit better if you've got somebody like Brendan Fraser, who's a great resource. You'd actually filmed him rather than animate him. I think it would have been more enjoyable. You know what? Very I'm, not, handsome. I'm, not, I'm not letting you say that kind of crap on my show, okay? This was the, the way they made the movie. They, did, they animated it. It wouldn't work as a, as a, uh, uh, it wouldn't work as that either, all right? The company you keep. One of those movies where you're enjoying it, but the whole time you're thinking, could I be learning something here mm -hmm. too? Five bags of popcorn. I really liked it and, uh, Maybe put them on uh, the back of a runaway freight train because the film's pretty exciting. Side effects with Steven Soda. Uh, I was going to say Steve Martin. It sort of had, uh, it resonated with me on a personal level. Mm -hmm. um, some kind of breaking news in my land uh, this week. Um, I was diagnosed with having several blood clots on my brain. Uh, this movie hit home. I give it six bags of popcorn and a two bags. Uh, two sodas because it is a classic. It's one of the great American movies of all time. Oz, the great and powerful. Those of us who are Oz freaks have been waiting since 1939, which is when the last Wizard of Oz movie came out. I gotta say, I miss the munchkins. I never thought uh, I would hear myself say that. Zero bags of popcorn because I'm gonna say, let's take Toto's old basket and fill that with popcorn and eat out of the basket, which is essentially five bags of popcorn. I love this movie. Die Hard, Die Hard, or A Good Day to Die Hard. They keep coming up with different ways of saying Die Hard. I've always loved the Die Hard movie series, and I remember when I first saw the original one, because Jack Nichols, or uh, Bruce Willis, was on, on shows called Luke Moonlighting. But here he is. Five bags of popcorn, and um, my own private collection of popcorn as well. Five bags of my own private collection. G.I. Joe Retaliation. One bag of popcorn and uh, five cups of soda. Okay. So you didn't care, or you didn't, or because you, one bag of popcorn? Because we, oh, we went to see this uh, last night, and uh, you see, you seem to enjoy it. I just, not big fan of popcorn. Oh, well. Okay. So, but the popcorn isn't to be eaten. It's just to signify oh. a roof, like a star. Oh, okay, then uh, four stars. Four bags of popcorn from Ayaka. Very cool. Uh, Jack and the Giant Slayer. Five bags of popcorn and um, maybe another five. Yeah, when I see a movie like this, the first thing that pops in my head is I love this job, uh, getting to watch movies like this and uh, getting to talk about them and uh, to sort of provide a public resource so that people can get information about this movie. Yeah, uh, no, I hear, I hear that loud and clear and um, yeah, I just didn't think about it those, in that way until now. So, uh, 
I'm letting that sit in. 